you all know the genius of the Falcon. F-Zero Falcon Fury. F-Zero Falcon Fury is a game mock-up, a proof of concept series of artworks, animations, videos, music tracks, and graphical assets that replicate the idea of an F-Zero fighting game while not actually having the game be playable or tangible in any form. Though the desire to make Falcon Fury a real game is clear, there are obvious risks and challenges to take notice of so that I don't get smited by f***ing god. Using Patreon to fund a game based on a Nintendo IP? Blood is asking to get cooked. Nintendo tends to attack projects and organizations that directly compete with their current profits. Look at another Metroid 2 remake in reference to Samus Returns. Full screen Mario in reference to the original Super Mario. Pokenet in reference to literally any Pokemon game. And Yuzu in reference to the f***ing Switch, the most lucrative Nintendo content of all time. Creating projects that use material from the company's less popular and less lucrative IP make it a lot easier to stay under the radar. Look at a fox in space. Look at that fox. It's a well-received, more mature animated series based directly on a franchise that hasn't had a game in eight years, which by the way, nobody f***ing liked. Matthew Gafford, the creator of A Fox in Space, still has his Patreon up, and it's still making bank, and he uses the money to directly fund his projects. The thing about F-Zero is that it hasn't had a project of that magnitude. So whether or not it would stand the test of time is an unknown answer because there is no project big enough to worth standing the test of time. I guarantee Nintendo does not care about making an F-Zero fighting game, but even so, any fan project is susceptible to a cease and desist, which puts me at risk no matter what cards I play. I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. <laughs> so even the very concept of this existing could get me cooked, no matter if the game is something you can actually download and play, or if it's simply a proof of concept showcase. The reason I'm proceeding with Falcon Fury is because I love the F-Zero franchise, and I realize the potential it could bring if Nintendo simply locked in. The first minuscule hint of Nintendo legally waving the flag, I stop it all immediately. That's the way it goes. My ass is not facing the full brunt of Nintendo's legal team. I am not Captain America. Why should I give you money? Who says you should? Find a fucking job, you fucking sausage roll looking. Let me be clear. This is not a Kickstarter. I am not a programmer. Falcon Fury is not a promise of a tangible playable product. As I said before, it's a proof of concept. My Patreon page is a place of voluntary funding for all my projects, including videos, music, and my webcomic. It's not a direct fund towards Falcon Fury, but instead a source of income for me to be able to facilitate all my projects. The completion of Falcon Fury won't depend on any sort of monetary gain. This is not a, oh my god, like, we reached $10,000, let me start developing. No. What it will do is allow me to commission sprite artists, animators, voice actors, and editors to make the proof of concepts of Falcon Fury come out faster and more convincing as an actual idea. Normally, when I work with collaborators on projects like The Changers, I pay them all out of pocket. And since this is not an official production, I think it makes sense to keep it that way. Because if I use an official studio to create this proof of concept, Nintendo could see that and use it as ammo to fry my ass in a fucking rotisserie. This is a passion project. In turn, it might contribute to the public interest of F-Zero so that the fandom does grow enough for Nintendo to see the potential for a brand new official game. Don't get me wrong, F-Zero 99 was fun, but it's just not the same. I want to see Deathborn talking about the f***ing mechanics of dark and light inside the champion's belt. Like, I want like that. Let's give us a new sequel. Why would you make a video without even having footage of the game? Because I want people to know it exists and build hype for when the mock-up reaches a presentable state. Had I dropped a demo or even gone into extensive gameplay details, there's a chance that Nintendo could perceive this as an actual game and take immediate action but I simply posted an announcement in order to test the waters of the fandom's opinion. What is the general reaction to the idea of the game? What are some precautions I should take note of before I start creating anything extensive? Reading the comments and taking notes from people in the community allows me to create something that stays safe, but is also something people want to see. Most people are cautiously excited. They know how evil Nintendo could be when it comes to the control of their intellectual property, and so I want to alleviate those concerns as quickly as I can so I can show how badass a game of this concept could be. Stop stealing IP. Uh, it's okay, bro. Nintendo's not gonna f*** you. No matter how many tricks you do on it, 
It's not gonna happen, bro. When is the actual game coming out? It won't. I like the bed I'm sleeping in. This proof of concept idea will consistently evolve due to input from the larger F-Zero community. For that reason, videos about Falcon Fury will be short and succinct so that I can constantly evolve the idea without putting all my eggs in one basket. This is also so that you can see the active, regular development of this idea without having to be drip fed. Let's not be like Yandev. Like I said before, I've never made a video game. I like the idea of evolving the depth of this concept as I go along with help, but I also don't want to invite myself to scrutiny by making false promises. This is essentially like, hop on the ride, see where it takes you type sh Conclusion F-Zero Falcon Fury is a passion project that replicates the concept of an F-Zero fighting game through a series of artworks, animations, music, videos, and graphical assets without creating a tangible, playable product. Acknowledging the risks of intellectual property issues with Nintendo, the project aims to stay under the radar by focusing on a less lucrative franchise like F-Zero. The primary goal is to inspire and engage the F-Zero community, showing the franchise's potential and encouraging Nintendo to consider a new game. Um, which we know that it's not gonna happen, but let's try. Contributions are voluntary and support all related creative endeavors and maximation with an emphasis on evolving the concept of Falcon Fury through community feedback without over-promising a finished product. The approach is cautious halting at the first sign of legal trouble while celebrating the spirit of F-Zero and its dedicated fan base. Boost fire and show me your moves. Oh, also, I'm a PJ main.